Turn thyselves together, for these are the tablets that hold the Ten Commandments of digital content. Obey thy words so your business can live long and prosper. Oh, hey Marketing Moses, you look well. Well, 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 would you look at here, it's the social media pessimist. 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 I have watched your videos, taken in your advice, and devised here the rules of the realm. <laughs> your tablets, so to speak. I see what you did there. <laughs> tablets. For I will convert thy heathens and bring them the digital marketing commandments. Well, good luck, because they're a hard bunch to convince. Number 10. Thou shall develop a custom tailored content strategy. Agree in a persona and a tone for your business. Keep it consistent across all channels. Target new consumers and those who already stand by you. Number nine, thou shall develop a content marketing mission statement. Without sounding too churchy right now. But my wording is divine. Just know that you need to describe your ideal audience. Do you want millennials? Then brainstorm content ideas they would want to engage with. Number eight. Thou shall not create social channels just for the sake of doing so. A freaking men on this one. Just because Vine exists does not mean that you need to create your brand's account and then load it up with a bunch of piss poor posts. Little sh clips of nothing. Today we're gonna be talking about Vine and how Vine sucks. All in all, I hate Vine. Learn to do it correctly before taking it public. Perception is everything on these side of the gate. Didn't I tell you not to speak overly religious? Number seven, thou shall blog informatively and for entertainment simultaneously. HubSpot has proven that companies with blogs Oh look, here's one actually get 55% more visitors than their competitors without them. We wear many hats, but we don't have the time to blog. If you have time to say that you don't have time to blog, you got time to blog. And if you're going to, keep topics relevant and up to date, please. And most importantly, thou shall have fun with it. You just get me sometimes, Marketing Moses. Number six, thou shall not push posts to all social media channels. I see that I have a notification. Sarah tagged me in a post. Whoa, great, this is awesome. I click on that, I'm back in Facebook's app. Never covet these pathetic habits. Preach. Number five, thou shall include clear imagery with any post containing a link. Consumers won't click on a tweet or a Facebook post with a boring summary of the content and an 80 character link. Consider that a clear sign you're boring. This practice is the work of the devil. I wouldn't go that far, but it's pretty awful. Number four, thou shall not ignore the prominence of visual storytelling. Hey, we're a curious bunch. We want content now, right this second, in a beautifully organized manner. Just knowing this fact gives your business an advantage. Add photos in with posts. Create videos that are short and easy to consume. Keep it personal and real. Number three, thou shall stay engaged in all time. Monitor news feeds, it's easy. And hashtags. Keep an eye out for which direction the social conversation is headed. And when fans mention you, show them how human and committed you are by responding quickly and genuinely. At the Sean Wow, you're doing a great job on this video. Oh, that was super nice of Moses. I'll favorite that. Only a favorite? No retweet? For man does not live by bread alone. Just keep it going, Marketing Moses, can we? Oh, ye of little faith. Number two, thou shall measure thy success along the way. Don't just throw spaghetti and hope it sticks. Bowtie pasta is my forbidden fruit. Crunch analytical data, measure success, and pivot where necessary. And finally, number one, thou shall utilize an incentivized campaign such as contest marketing. Guarantee yourself an increase in emails, followers, and brand awareness. Do not forget all of that crystal clear consumer data that you can use to send out heavenly coupons to drive traffic to your store or website. Heavenly, aren't you from Ontario, Canada? There must be something in the water. 
But if that overacted little tablet pitch didn't do it for you from Marketing Moses, well, blasphemer, this will. Every single new customer to Raven 5 will receive a crisp Raven 5 t-shirt, just like this one, autographed by yours truly. That person is me. The social media pessimist. And there's more. I'll go ahead and throw in an iPad too. Are you serious? True story. Not just one, every new customer gets an iPad. Oh, I'm sorry, would you give away lanyards? Yeah, Raven 5 gave me an iPad. I mean, what? An autographed Raven 5 t-shirt and the thing you probably care more about, the iPad. Yep, you get an iPad. Isn't an autographed shirt by me cooler than this iPad? This is all you do on an iPad? As always, download the white papers for more information. Cause they're freaking sweet. Or call Michael Bickerton yourself. His number's below. He started Raven 5, so he'd have a general idea of me doing this. What if you called Michael and he was like, he said he'd give away what? He gave me approval for this, so it's cool. A solid contest marketing package is worth two in the bush. Okay, Marketing Moses, now you're just saying things to say them. A leopard cannot change its spots, Mr. Pessimist. Contest marketing, there's nothing faster. I'm gonna do it old timey? Okay, I guess, yeah. Contest marketing, say it's a finger zinger. Like that? More aggressive? Contest marketing, get ripped fast. The things they make me do on camera. No, I'm not redoing it. No, you, I'm, oh, I'm an agent. No, you can't just, no, I'm done. I'm done, no.